Hello children. Welcome back to your science online class. Today we are going to learn about green plants. As you all know, plants are one of the most important living things as they provide us with not only food but also the oxygen we need to live. Plants have different parts like the leaf, stem, root, fruit and flower. Of all the parts of a plant, leaves are one of the most important as they manufacture food for the plants. You must have noticed um, that almost all leaves are green in color. Do you know why? Yes, leaves appear green due to the presence of a green substance called chlorophyll. Alright? Yes, chlorophyll. This chlorophyll helps the leaves to take in sunlight. We all know how important sunlight is to plants, right? Without sunlight, they will wither and die. Now let's look at parts of a leaf. Leaves have three main parts. The leaf blade, midrib and leaf stalk. Leaf blade the flat part of a leaf is known as the leaf blade or lamina. Some leaf blades are broad while some are narrow. Midrib If you look closely here, you can see a tube-like structure running down the center of the leaf, right? Yes, this is the midrib or midvein. It is the main vein of the leaf. There are also many side veins as you can see here arising from the midrib. What do they do? They transport, they carry water, minerals and prepared food to and from the leaf. Next we have the leaf stalk. The leaf stalk is the part that attaches the leaf to a branch or a stem. It is also called petiole stomata on the underside of a leaf there are tiny openings called stomata however as they are too small they can be seen only through a lens these tiny holes or stomata help a plant to take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen during photosynthesis the leaves generally performs the following functions. Firstly, the leaf is the kitchen of the plant. What do we do in the kitchen? We prepare our food there, right? Just like that, the leaf prepares food for the plant using water, minerals, carbon dioxide, sunlight and chlorophyll. Secondly, in some plants, the leaf stores extra food, just like how we do it in our kitchen. Thirdly, the leaf takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen to the stomata during photosynthesis. We keep saying photosynthesis, so let's find out what exactly photosynthesis is. Human beings and animals can we prepare our own food? Can we just go stand in the sunlight, drink water and prepare our own food by ourselves? No, right? We depend on plants and animals for our food. However, plants, they can prepare their own food. The process by which green plants prepare their own food using carbon dioxide water and minerals in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. Plants get the different materials required for photosynthesis like this. Leaves absorb sunlight with help of chlorophyll, the green substance we talked about earlier. All right? And then leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air with the help of stomata. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and they are carried by the stem to the leaves. As a result of all these, 
photosynthesis takes place. Let's just say photosynthesis is like a cooking process where your mother gathers all the ingredients required to prepare your food and then she serves you a delicious meal in the end. Alright, I hope it's clear. That will be all for this video. We shall continue in the next video. Take care. Stay safe.